guys, this is Lindsay with Garage Room Reviews, and today we are gonna compare the F63 treadmill to the F80 treadmill. Now there are a few key differences between the two and then a lot of similarities that we're gonna go through. We're gonna talk about it all, the price difference, the belt size, and more. But first, go ahead and click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our videos coming your way. We have a lot of content that is new and exciting that you aren't gonna wanna miss, so go ahead, hit subscribe. Also, if you wanna purchase either of these treadmills, go ahead and use the link below the like button to do so. It doesn't cost anything extra to you, but it does give us a small commission allows us to continue doing videos, which is exactly what we love to do. Also, both of these treadmills have been sent to us by the company, but that doesn't change what I'm gonna say. I'll always be transparent about my opinion and give it to you straight. So let's get into it. First thing I want to address, I think both of these treadmills are more suited for somebody who wants to do a lot of running. Now there are a few metrics by which I judge that and one is the belt deck size. Now the F63 has a 60 by 20 inch belt deck size, which is above industry standard and honestly a great belt deck size. However, the F80 has an extra two inches on the width. So its belt deck size is 60 by 22 inches. Now, do I think this is absolutely necessary? But no, it's actually a really nice feature to have anyways. In terms of motor size, both have a really decent motor size. The F63 has a 3.0 CHP motor, while the F80 has a 3.5 CHP motor. So while you don't have to worry about any sort of components burning out with either treadmill, the 3.5, it's gonna be able to withstand a little bit more volume at higher speeds. But again, I think the 3.0 CHP motor also does just a good enough job. In terms of display, the F63 has a backlit LCD screen. It shows your basic metrics, things like your time elapsed, your distance, your calories, your heart rate, while the F80 actually has a touch screen. Now, I love the touch screen feature. It's not the biggest screen that we see by any means, but it displayed clear graphics. It was easy to use, and it also displays any sort of programs that it has, your basic metrics, just like the F63. And then it also features a couple other components that the F63 doesn't have, like running tests and more. Now, both treadmills come with the ability to use studio programming, and that is Soul's programming for $29 a month. With the F63, you can go ahead and download the studio app to your phone and go ahead and put your phone on the display shelf to be able to follow along with the workout. With the F80, you can actually use screen mirroring. So when you use the app on your phone, you can go ahead and mirror it to the display screen and follow along with the touch screen, making it just a little bit more visible, a little bit more interactive, and it feels almost more like a smart treadmill versus just something that you are mirroring. Both machines come with Citizens Pay, and you can go ahead and pay 0% APR financing for up to 12 months. They also both come with free shipping anywhere within the United States. In terms of the assembly process, both were pretty similar. The only thing that might change factors is the F80 treadmill is slightly heavier by about 20 plus pounds than the F63. So it's just gonna be a little heavier. It's gonna be a little bit more difficult to move around while you're putting components together. Like I just said, the F80 is about 20 more pounds than the F63. However, it does have two extra attached wheels. So while the F63 has two wheels, Again, making it portable, easy to move around on a hard surface. The F80 has four attached wheels, just making it even easier to move around. Now, I found it a little bit more easy to move the F80 around on any sort of turf or carpeting, whereas the F63 struggled a little bit. But with both machines, one thing that I really like is when they are in the upright position, you can go ahead and move them from side to side, get them into the exact position that you want without having to bring it to that horizontal position to engage those wheels and moving around that way. So overall, I really like that aspect of the design on both treadmills. In terms of size, both are very similar. They are both the same height. They are both the same length. The only difference is that the F80 has two inches on the width, and that just comes from the two extra inches that the belt deck size has. Also, one of my favorite aspects about both of these treadmills is the lowering mechanism. So they both have gas shock on the lowering mechanism, making it incredibly easy to raise and lower the belt deck. So if you are somebody who has small kids, small pets running around, you aren't gonna have to worry about that belt deck slamming into the ground, which honestly would freak me out. They are both a very slow lower, but for if any reason it does get triggered, you don't have to worry about anything getting caught underneath. 
because it is such a slow, easy lower. Now, one big key difference between these treadmills is its weight capacity. So the F63 weight capacity is 300 pounds. The F80 weight capacity is 375 pounds. So honestly, that makes a huge difference. It just allows more people to be able to utilize this machine. So if you are 325 pounds or looking for a treadmill to up your fitness game, this is a good quality, solid treadmill to choose from. Definitely go with the F80. Soul claims that the belt deck has 40% extra shock absorption. Now, while I am not a treadmill scientist, I don't know the specifics of this. I wouldn't say it was the most cushioned belt deck that I've ever tried. However, compared to like some $500 versions of treadmills that I've tried, there is a huge noticeable difference compared to some higher end $3,000 plus treadmills that I have tried. Again, so while it wasn't the worst, it also wasn't the most noticeable, the best. However, I would say that as I was running, I didn't notice any sort of jarring, any sort of hard impact to my knees or my ankles or anything like that. Both treadmills come with a 15% incline option. Now, I really wish that the F80 had a decline option. I think a lot of treadmills are headed that direction. So since this is kind of their better version or their more expensive version, I wish that we had that decline option. Even a 3% decline would have been really nice. But alas, both have 0% decline, but do have that 15% incline. Now, both treadmills have a quick speed and quick incline button that you are able to utilize. With the F63, the buttons are actually on the side rail handlebars. With the F80, they are on a cross beam structure and they are more like paddles. Now, I actually don't love them. I like having them and the ability to access them really quickly, but there's no sort of like clicking noise or beeping noise to let you know that you've engaged that incline or that speed. And honestly, I wish that were a little bit different. I think that the Peloton Tread has hit the nail on the head with this feature and their knobs. It's easily my favorite option. However, the F63 comes in a close second. And then the F80, although they tried, and I think it is a good effort, it's not my favorite. Now, both treadmills go up to 12 miles per hour. While I experienced some unsteadiness, some shakiness at higher speeds on the F63, I didn't notice that from the F80. So I don't know if that's just an improved upon feature or the fact that it's a heavier, more durable machine, but I did not experience unsteadiness or any sort of shakiness while at higher speeds on the F80. Now, due to the flywheel technology, both of these are incredibly quiet machines. However, I have to give extra points to the F80. This is easily the quietest machine I have ever used. I used to say that the Nordic Track Commercial 1750 was the quietest. No, the F80 is easily the quietest. And I say that from trying the incline feature. Most of the times when you transition to an incline, you'll hear a slight noise as the belt deck raises. I literally did not hear anything on the F80 and I raised and lowered it several times easily the quietest, 10 out of 10. With both machines, if you are unhappy with your purchase, you have 30 days to go ahead and ship it back. One thing I think that Soul has done incredibly well is they aren't gonna charge you any sort of shipping fee or any sort of restocking fee that you find with most other companies and most other treadmills. And I mean, shipping back a treadmill like isn't the cheapest postage, right? Like it's a heavy machine. It's gonna cost you a chunk of change to ship it back. So eliminating that fact for you guys, I think just kind of speaks to the integrity of the company. Overall, I think the F63 is a very budget-friendly option for somebody who's looking for a no-frills treadmill that just wants the ability to get on, get going, and start running. At $1,000, there isn't much to complain about, aside from the fact that there's a little unsteadiness, a little shakiness when you get to those higher speeds. In terms of the F80, again, this is an overall quality machine. The only things that I really don't love about it is the fact that it doesn't have a decline feature, and then the paddles to change incline and speed on that crossbar section. I just wish it would have been a little bit better, a little bit more thought out. But overall, I don't have a lot of negative things to say about this machine. Now it does cost $1,900, whereas the F63 only costs a thousand. So if you can only afford a thousand dollars, I mean, I don't think you're gonna be disappointed by the F63. However, if you can save up that little extra money, I'd go with the F80. Honestly, I have the F63 in my garage right now and I might consider changing it out. I'm not sure because I really enjoy the F80. But let us know in the comments what you think. Which treadmill would you choose for yourself? Would you choose the budget-friendly option or would you go ahead, save up that extra bit of cash and go with the F80? Let us know. This has been Lindsay with Garage Gym Reviews and we'll see you back here next time. Peace.